75 is a little bit rougher than what I remember it being. Are you ready? Are you ready to go see some kettle? Yep. Yep. Oh, Stanley, you guys. Oh, look at you. You're a typical white girl now. No. Oh. We're going to go trucking today. Don't worry, boys and girls. But uh, first, we're going to go see some uh, longhorn and some other cattle, too. It's my friend's cattle, and Paige wants to pet some. And what are you doing? I'm getting in the front seat. You're going to ride in the front seat? Yeah. It's always clean in there. I guess I'm gonna ride in the back seat. I bet Grandpa has a Stanley, but it's a less fancy Stanley. You think Grandpa has one of those? But oh, that's a Stanley. Yeah, they make a lot of. Yes, that's a true stuff. Stanley. Yes, like the thermos. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure Grandpa does have a thermos. See, now we both have Stanleys. I thought you actually just gave the cup a name. No, it's a Stanley. <laughs> yes, they make lunch boxes or used to make steel lunch boxes, thermoses, the whole works. Yeah, I really like their bear with wings and the crown. It pops off. That's new. I don't think the old school ones have a bear with wings. Well, they have a mascot now. Ah, fancy. Yeah. I found it in Shields, and we went looking for the display because it was in the middle of nowhere, and there was no display, so I got it. I bet that's a fire truck. Do you see Battle Creek's fire trucks rolling? Yeah. The wind is crazy, and I bet somebody lit a fire. Mm. There was a fire on the way here. Was there? On the way to Battle Creek. Oh, I didn't see it. But it was like a field fire. It wasn't like a. It wasn't a house fire or anything. Cool. Somebody's died. No, was it the ambulance or the fire truck? Ambulance. Ambulance. Oh, no. oh okay. Katie. How are you? Big Red. How are you? Yes. He likes me just fine. It's like too many people, too many people, too many people. Oh. Now look at this thing though. You didn't tell me you had a plate. Show this one. You didn't tell me you had one of these. Hi. Can you say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, she's hungry. Always starving. You're hungry. Hippo. They're a little shorter than normal. A belted Galloway? Yep, Oreo cows. Oreo. There's a guy in Correction Bell that has them. That's where I got her from. Hey. <laughs> too close, too close. So his cap is like right here, and you can feel by where they're hottest. <laughs> so then at the end, <laughs> he does like it. Yeah, part. <laughs> we're working on it. I remember asking Katie, "So is that going to be a pet?" And she said, "Oh, until it's uh, what'd you say?" Five. And then because he yeah, was yeah, going right. to be like, you, yeah, you were going to get rid of it or something. <laughs> now you're just a big pet. Now you're just a big old grass puppy. Twenty some years or something. Brandy's oldest. We'll find out. Twenty-eight, I think. Look at this truck. Watch this. Here's like rip your thumb off. Hey, oh, oh, oh! Look at that. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable. Correction bell. Right on top of the hill. Right on top of the hill. You'll see him to the left. Okay. Yep, that's where I got her. And they all look like that one then? Yeah, yeah, all of them. They don't have any different colored ones. They braided her tail. Yeah. They braided her tail. 
Oh. They're just big babies. She's a big old lover, and this one's pouting because she's not a show cow this year. Okay. <laughs> But none of these have had babies yet. Not yet, no. Okay. That's why he's here. That's why he's here. Okay. How long has he been here? <laughs> a couple of weeks. He's spicy, I'm telling you. You know, but for a bull, though, he still is pretty tame. Yeah. Because usually they're not going to want to stay right there. He's a yearling. Well, I think that tame, one's coming into heat, so he's staying pretty close to her. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she doesn't touch. Yeah. Here you told me she was gonna be jumping and everything. She's just fine. Oh, she's thinking about it though. Yeah, she does. Oh, she does. Oh. She's gonna make a good show, Cal. So. <laughs> Imagine that when the girls were like on the ground. She did not like that. Her, I mean, she did hit it to the ground, and I was like, Val did. Yeah, I was like, I wonder you can't get pregnant. You beat up on everybody. She's beating up on the boys. <laughs> like I was saying, he is like three times smaller than him. But they do have their tippy toes and they. Yeah. <laughs> and you also said he's a youngin, so he is young. he's, he's gonna the do the bunny? teenage boy thing. Yeah, Show the the wild little one, and then you go to the bigger one, and yeah. you get to see how calm they are with training. Which one was that one? Donut. Donut. Now will she sit? Now will she stay that calm once you? Once she's bred and had a calf, then? I never really know if they're going to be one of the protective moms or not, but. Hey, let me see your hair. Yeah. Oh, Bunker got a hold of it. <laughs> yes, you did, yeah, and yo. That is a long truck. You could. I can't remember what Jeremy said that was. I think it, it's over 300. But why does he want this so long? Oh, you got it. Just the ride page. It looks cool too, but the ride alone. Plus, there's weight things you want. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It just looks cool, Paige. Don't question. Okay. Alrighty. Now it's time to go drive a truck. But as for that, that was a couple friends of ours. Um, Katie has TikTok and well right here I'm gonna leave it right there across the bottom of the screen plus I'll leave a link to Katie's TikTok if you guys are interested in seeing all the uh, the cattle run around on there it was pretty cool and if you're watching this Katie and Jeremy and the kids thank you very much for giving us a tour I was not I was not expecting the calf to be out there kids I, I kind of want a calf I want a mini cow. A mini cow. That's what I'm thinking. I want a mini cow. Because mini cows will stay, they're little, but they'll stay little forever. The yeah. calf is really cute, but they get bigger. My favorite's red still, though. Red is a pure Texas longhorn. And I can't remember what the other one, Oreo, was. Oreo. Yeah, Oreo, the black and white one. That was oh, a different. That's, that's what? That was clover. What? That was clover. Oreo, I don't Oh, that was Clover? Yeah. I got the names all goofed up. They all have names. And uh, there's another breed. I cannot remember what that breed name was, but I liked the softness of that one. That one is amazing. See? I got my own personal cow. Calf. I got my own personal calf. Sorry I called you a female there. My own personal calf. I don't need anybody else's calves. That's what we realized out there. That calf we were messing with. It's the, uh, it's basically the same size as Jack's right now, but it, it'll grow, of course. Alrighty, so we're back in the truck. Sorry, guys, it's going to be the same boring stuff we always do. We're running out to, uh, running down to Topeka, Kansas. First of all, though, we gotta run up to the city. We gotta grab our trailer, 
and uh, then get on the interstate. doing the steering wheel dance right now. That wind is brutal. We're bobtailing, no trailer. We're running up to get it. But luckily the trailer has some weight to it right now. <laughs> the truck is just... <laughs> seen a little bit ago in the video where the cattle were. That's Jeremy. Alright, we're going to be coming up on an American flag here, United States of American flag. This flag up here, it doesn't uh, it doesn't come down. You know, here half mass it when it needs to, but I'm not sure how many he goes through. That flag is solid. I mean, it, it, it just never comes down. A lot of places you will see them bring them down in winds like this but that thing just stays solid stays blowing that is just awesome I gotta grab the hammer. 22, 22.5 low profile. 22.5 low profile. 24.5 low profile. Those are tire sizes. Kenworth W900, eight bag air system. Come on. Volvo. I don't know what they have for airbag systems on them. But there's a huge difference. A flat out huge difference. I had plans on greasing that fifth wheel up before we hooked up to the trailer, but with my airbags completely depleted, I actually cranked on the trailer for about a couple minutes trying to get the landing gear up before I could grease that fifth wheel before I backed under it. No go. Trailers are getting dropped far too low. And I don't know if it's because of the Volvo versus real, or sorry, versus W900 versus 22.5 low pros, 22.5 low pros they're getting dropped too low we've whined about this in the past videos
so it looks like Iowa's working things pretty hard so we're gonna jump over into Nebraska give you guys a little bit of a change in scenery run down a couple roads I haven't been on in a while and uh, just change things up a tad we have 37,000 pounds of lungs I don't know if they're pork lungs or beef lungs but we have lungs in the trailer Tell you what, it feels like complete years since I've been on this highway. This is Highway 77 slash Highway 75 here in Nebraska. We're going to go through two, two towns, three towns actually, on this road. Our first one we're going to come into is Homer, Nebraska. Uh, then once we get to Winnebago, Nebraska, we are going to uh, go through a little roundabout and uh, go through the sticks a little bit more and then we're going to jump back on to uh, Interstate 29 somewhere around that Decatur, Nebraska take you guys across one of the coolest bridges ever made I used to actually take this road or that bridge road that we're going to go on here in a little bit I used to take those well, be three to six times a day when I used to run a wet distiller out of Iowa into Nebraska that was a cool gig, I really liked that gig, but it kind of slowed down when the market slowed down on beef. Uh, then the ethanol plants, well, they did what they do. So I went full time with the reefer here. I used to pull them both. I'd pull a belt trailer part time, and then I'd jump over and I'd pull this reefer trailer the other part time, and then I went to the reefer trailer full time. And now, the, now that I kind of want to go back to the feed trailer, just really isn't in the cards right now. But someday I wouldn't mind going back to that feed trailer. This town right there, you guys can't really see it, is Homer, Nebraska.
Highway 75 here is a lot rougher than what I remember it being, but it's probably been 10 years ago since I've been on it. We're going to keep our eyes peeled on this road, though. If any of you remember my old Freightliner that I used to have, I sold it to my cousin over here. So he runs around this deck of the woods with it. He's uh, hauling corn with it. Hauling, well, hauling corn, beans. It's, uh, it's an egg truck now, so he's running up and down these roads. We're going to see if we can maybe find it running around. That last town we went through, Winnebago, um, it's, uh, we're on the Indian Reservation now, or if you watch that dumb old show Yellowstone, it's called The Riz. <laughs> yeah, that show's kind of dumb. But, uh, yep, yeah, we're on the reservation right now. Uh, the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska, I think it's called. I, I'm not 100% sure. I know it's the Winnebago tribe, but I don't know the per proper pronunciation of it. Uh, then here in a little bit we're going to cross over into the Omaha tribe which is uh, another town we don't really see from the road and that's called Macy. kind of forgot to talk about that earlier but we don't really see much of it from the road. be Macy right over there. Like I said, you can't really see much of it from the highway over here. I was fully prepared to get back on here and tell you guys that we're going to skip out on uh, going over that bridge that I told you about. That was really cool. And we were going to stay on 75 all the way down to Omaha. I have two things playing against me and I think uh, both of them justify jumping back over to the, the Iowa site. 75 is a little bit rougher than what I remember it being. <laughs> oh, jeez. I actually remember when they put this road in brand new, I was taking it all in feed. It didn't last too long. I actually remember, now that we're on this road and driving it, this spot right here, we were coming up out of Decatur, Nebraska. It was me and my dad. We were in, uh, God, what was I driving then? I think it was... Uh, 05 Peterbilt. We were coming up this hill. Ice storm hit. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. Dad was riding with me. We spun out. We couldn't make it up the hill. I grabbed the shoulder. And there was no traction on the shoulder. So me and Dad actually had to sit there, you know, probably about three hours or so, just waiting for a salt truck to go by before we could run out onto the road and scrape it all towards the truck to get back going. And then we got back going and got up and over the hills and oh that was a long night and I felt sorry so I felt so sorry for Uber Dad that he was actually riding with me then because the trips always used to go really good but ice ice is a truck's nemesis. I shouldn't even have been on the road but it, it flash froze basically. It came up really fast and then it froze right away. It wasn't, uh, hey look, it's gonna freeze, it just froze. That was brutal.
when you're heading south and the wind is out of the north, you tend to forget just how breezy it is till you go to stop and get fuel. We're here at Sap Brothers, just, just off the Interstate 29 in Percival, Iowa. We're getting ready to dip back into uh, Nebraska on 75 again, but it'll be a much smoother stretch of 75. It's probably been 10 years since I've been on that stretch of 75 we were on earlier. It's probably going to be another 10 years before I go on it again, unless I have to. It was pretty rough. That bridge was super cool though, wasn't it? That made that whole rough, I don't know, rough road down memory lane worth it. I love that bridge. I used to have to pay money. Whew, we're gonna hide behind this sign. I used to have to pay money to go over that bridge. It used to be a toll bridge. How much was it? Three bucks a time, so, so six bucks a load, and it was usually three loads a day that I'd run out of Nebraska, and, uh, or out of Iowa into Nebraska. Worth every penny though. I love that old bridge. It's not a toll bridge anymore. And it really hasn't fallen apart by no means. They're taking care of it pretty good. The steel grates, when you go over them, yeah, you hear the bumping and the banging still, but that just means awesomeness when you hear that. Now, Warden, she hates that bridge. Absolutely despises that bridge. So every time I go that way, I make sure I take it. I'm not leaving the sign, dude. If I leave the sign, the wind will blow me over. He's like, fine then, man. I'll hide behind the sign. I'm not feeling very photogenic today anyway. Really? Still got you. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm just a big meanie, aren't I? Yes, I am. 100% mean.
we doing tonight? just fine. Yep, I'll take you home with me. Huh. I guess. First off, he said, I'm new to the channel, but then he also said, you know, I bet that W9, how'd he say it, would look better clean. You need a bath, you need to get your truck washed. And I got a little chuckle out of it because it was the video after I got the truck washed. I get the truck washed about minimum once a week. I'm just checking the rest of the trailers, making sure I'm not missing any pallets. That's loaded. And I kind of got a chuckle though. Truck gets washed a minimum once a week, sometimes twice a week. But you come in and out of lots like this, and this right here, what you're looking at is most of the backside of packing plants that you guys don't see. You guys see the front side of them where they're all pretty and beautiful. Then there's the back side. And that's where I go. And it's actually pretty nice back here. Hello Choo Choo Train. You go to the back of Smithfield, um, 
Dysons, any of those big packing plants, they're disgusting. Flat out disgusting. So, train's catching up for old times. So that is why the truck's dirty. It's dusty. The roads are dirty. The roads are dusty. Really not much I can do about it. make the comment yeah we should probably use some rain we could probably use some rain you're 100% right we're dropping out hardcore in the Midwest but then all this dust it turns to mud like really bad soupy mud that gets everywhere so if it's between the dust and the mud I will choose the dust all day long each place is getting a little better like here where we're at right now It was way worse. There wasn't an ounce of concrete to be seen anywhere. And now, in front of you, as you can see, there's concrete. Maybe one day, the concrete will go that way. Until it does, this is perfectly fine. Like I said, it's a lot better than what it used to be. There used to be holes in that parking lot, as some of you probably remember, that would swallow my truck whole. I got a big truck. They just swallow it. That's funny. The suspension on the truck is still settling in. So it's sitting there kind of making a few little noises. And Opie's just sitting there like, what is that? What is that, man? Come on, Opie. Let's go walk. Yep, let's go walk. Well, if you haven't guessed it, we've made it down here to the Topeka, Kansas. We've dropped off a loaded trailer, and we've grabbed an empty trailer. I think I'm going to leave you guys right here. That sound okay for this video? I think it's going to have to be okay. You guys stay safe. I want to thank you for watching this video. Stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time. One of these days I'll get that right. Yeah, one of these days. <laughs> you guys didn't blow away. Good job.